Hi there, this is Fixed It. I recently picked up a broken Emotive Insight EG headset on eBay and I wanted to see whether or not it actually would switch on, but unfortunately it didn't come with a power cable. So I went to the Emotive site, they have the Emotive Insight charging cable, it's $19.99 and shipping was $32.99, a total of $52.98. So I thought I'm going to make one of my own. As you'll have seen from my previous video, I created a working cable, but it used the wrong size plug. Now I've found a plug of the correct size, in the form of an Apple iPhone audio plug. The solder connections on the 4-pin audio plug are exceedingly small, and if you're not a competent solderer, you might not want to do this. Holding the large USB plug, cut the cable in half and strip back the wire. And you'll notice that there's a green, white, red and black. The red is the VCC, the white is the USB data negative, the green is the USB data positive and the black is the USB ground. Having cut off the iPhone plug and peeled off the plastic you're left with an ultra small 4-pin audio connector and as you can see it's got three solder points on one side and one solder point on another. Having cut and tinned your wires you solder the black, the white and the red to the three solder points on one side and then turn it round and solder the green wire to the one on the other. Having tested that the wires were all where I wanted them, I then melted some polymorph plastic and gently wrapped it and moulded it around the wires and around the solder points in order to make a thin plug which would fit into the headset. I was really pleased when the headset light turned green and it began charging. All I've used is an old USB cable and an old Apple iPhone headset connector. I hope you like the video and you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.